Hello, I'm Barack of the Power, and welcome to my Unity tutorial on making the bubble from Zelda 2. Now, the bubble is an enemy which. Yeah, I'll show you. So, this is a bubble, my version of the bubble enemy. I, this won't be a true tutorial, like, I won't be making it from scratch or anything. So, yeah, you can just copy the code. And, so yeah, so in the ball, so what it does, it bounces off the edge of the screen, bounces, bounces, bounces. Just in case you don't know, you found this in your recommendation or something, you're like, ooh, what, what's this? <laughs> anyway, I'll show you. You can see it in action. See, it bounces. And if it hits you, it does damage. Yeah, so, anyway, what, what you need is a game object, obviously, a game object with rigid body 2D, circle collider 2D, sprite renderer. A circle collider has no trigger. Sprite renderer, obviously. An active ball script and a box collider. And a trigger, that'll be your uh, damage. That'll be what damage is to the player. You need a rotator, and you need to rotate it to 45 degree angle. Need an up check. Yeah, better word. Then you need a check at the top of it, at the left of it, and at the right of it. Rotate it back to 45 degrees. So, yeah, so they detect when the ball hits the edge of the screen. And you need a yeah. You need to have boundaries on the edge of your screen for when you the ball hits it <laughs> hits the edge of the screen. So you need four of them. So for each side of the screen, so you need up. Oh, yeah, and you also need to. So you need a box glider 2D, but you also need a platform effector 2D. So, so, yeah. So then, when you move into them, you'll be able to move in to the screen, but it wouldn't be able to move out. It'd be out of the camera bounce, and you need to have a tag C boundary, a camera boundary, a layer. Well, tag, I think a tag. And no, I just, I just have them the same because it's safer. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, so in the boundary, so rotation offset should be eighty. So it should all be surface arc and ninety. So surface arc and ninety. So it's rotation offset is zero with the up to so one eighty and the down. Minus 90 with left and 90 with right. And you also need an inner boundary or the activator so that when it comes into the screen, it'll activate. So when it's outside, it'll just stay there, but when it's inside, it'll start bouncing. Tag of actor, very important tag. <laughs> Alright, so we'll check the script. So you need a public layer mask, what is ball, which obviously needs to, when you need to hit the ball, so we, whatever the wall is, so we call it ground or wall, so walls are them. 
and the camera boundary, which is that. Now, what is enemy, which is obviously the player. Rigid body 2D, box collider 2D, the check radius, which is uh, the physics overlap circle. So the collider for the objects. And what is wall? The rotator transform rotations. Sure what that does. I think that's to do with I oh, yeah that's to do with take damage. Yeah, it depends on what you Yeah you can safely ignore that. <laughs> Unless you're doing the two D and you want to do knockback like me. I right, the move speed. Obviously you need move speed. So I've activated, so usually it starts not activated, so you leave that unchecked while placing it. But once it hits the inner boundary, inner boundary to trigger actor activator, it will be activated. So that means it will do all of this once it hits the inside the camera. So update checks. So update checks. Uh, yeah, it's a bit of a mess. <laughs> Should we put that there. So update checks. The update movement. So after you do the uh, specifically the rotator to move by the rotator, not the the actual game object. So the rotator is this. So it moves up. By where the rotator is rotated instead of the ball. Transfer update speed, update bounce. So this is when it hits the corner of the screen. So up check and left check, up check and right check. Pretty self sanctuary when it hits either of the sides of the ball. Hit either of the sides and <laughs> and up check, right check, and left check is when it hits the corner. So it rotates by 180. So it goes there, go boom, go boom, boom. Yeah, it's like that. So, <laughs> oh, excuse me. <laughs> yeah, and the hitbox. Pretty self explanatory hitbox. I'm sure you can figure it out by yourselves. So, yeah, that's about it. Leave it. Be sure to subscribe and leave a like to see my, my devlogs. Or subscribe if you want to see my devlogs. <laughs> my game. I'm making Super Princess Daphne. New game. Should be pretty sick. So yeah, like and subscribe if you've enjoyed this content, you've found it helpful. Anyway, see you later.